will bring some experiments to class myself. So I went to the lab and I collected some items. In here, I put bottles of water. Yeah, the main difference between these two, hey, you can sit down here. See, because someone took your seat. Wait, can you find a seat? Go to your seat. Find Find somewhere. I brought two bottles of water. The only difference in them is their temperature. So here, I have one bottle of water. It's a clean water. The other one, I have kept in here. Very cold water. Okay, so here's the difference. Uh, temperature is purely hot versus cold. Yeah? I'm going to do a quick experiment. Here, I have also brought big dye with a dropper. I'm going to put a drop of ink red dye into these two bottles of water. What do you predict will happen when I drop a drop of red dye into hot water? Okay, everyone think for yourself. What do you think will happen when I drop a drop of red dye into hot water? Okay, if I get you to discuss with your friends for a short while, what do you think about it? What do you think? Second, I'll set two water. If I were to drop, a drop of red dye in cold water, what do you predict will happen? Are you ready for your predictions? Okay, so right now I'm going to drop a drop of red dye in cold hot water. So hot. Yeah, it's plain hot water. I went to the water cooler with plain water. Okay. Yeah. Next, cold water. Can we open it for?
Restart the process by pressing this back arrow. You can restart the process. Then you try with high temperature.
But what's the difference between hot and cold water? The hot water spreads out more what? Okay, uh, Mira says in hot water, she notice that it spreads out evenly much faster than the cold one. I'd like to introduce a word to you today. That word is called, but I think you've heard this before, diffusion. Yeah, heard before? What is diffusion? Diffusion is what you just observed. What you just observed here is, let me put things in slow motion. Very often when you introduce a liquid or gas into another liquid or gas, you will observe that because of the bumping of the liquid and gas on what you just added, they begin to spread out. And they don't just spread out, they spread out from an area where it is low amount, sorry, they spread out from an area where there's a high amount of the original substance to an area where there's low amount of the substance. So let's replay this. I'm going to go back to the start. When I add this ink drop, and I'm going to pause it right now, notice that over here, there's a lot of the ink compared to the surrounding areas. If I let this run out over time, you notice that it starts to spread out to the areas where there's no amount of all of this. Yeah? That's what diffusion is. Diffusion is the spreading of substances from an area of high concentration. So the word concentration means how much of a substance there is to an area of low concentration. May I get you to click to the page in your textbook that shows this? Oh, your page page would that be? Okay, page 27. I am skipping the 26 demonstration. I didn't manage to buy air pressure. Huh? Okay, but we, we work with our ink droplet. So if you want to go to page 27, you should be able to find the definition of diffusion. May I get you to highlight the definition?
It's like everything is in slow motion, right? Yeah, that's because it is. Everything is in slow motion. You can still see the red guy. You can see the red guy. Still inside. Not quite fully spread out. Can't you cut past you? Can you have a look up close? Okay. Can you still see the streets of the dye inside? It's not fully spread out. It's frozen in time. That's because the water particles inside, they are not bumping into the red dye as well. So you yes, can still see streaks inside. You can still see the streaks of dye. Yeah. This is the effect of diffusion. Or rather, this is how temperature can affect the rate of diffusion. You increase the temperature, the water molecules bump into the dye much faster. It's going to spread out a lot faster. But if the water molecules themselves are really slow, they are going to spread out pretty really slowly. Okay? And that's where we will conclude today's lesson. So your homework for today, I think it's a bit unfair to ask you to complete the whole day. May I need you to complete just one, one page, one side of your worksheet by tomorrow. And that's what I want to go through. This side is something you've learned before, right? You are asked to explain all these phenomena. For those of you that are enthusiastic, want to do more, you can do the flip page. The flip page is whatever we did today. Okay? If you do that, then you have no homework for the weekend. No. Okay? Uh, this is higher worksheet. No. By tomorrow, I just want the first slide done. But by next first lesson, the second slide should also be done. But if you don't want to we'll wait until next week, just copy everything you want. Okay.